welcome back to Beauty with Bella. Whether you guys are new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by. I am Bella, and on this channel, I talk about beauty, mostly fragrances. And you guys, I am like super excited, like salivating, dang near excited because I have five niche samples. I want to give you guys my first impressions. I wanted to do this on camera. So if you guys are interested in hearing what I have to say, or you just want to spend time with moi then keep on watching and if you haven't done so please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload videos y'all this family is growing be a part of the growth let's let's keep it moving let's keep it going okay the samples you're here for the fragrances let's get into it i have five samples i got these from Twisted Lily. I often buy my samples from them. I will link them down below. These samples were mostly $5. There was one that was $7. And the samples I got were are um, Raja Dove Creation E. I have Dirty Ginger by Her 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 Heretic. I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I have Zerjoff Golden Dahlia, Zerjoff Lyra, and the one that is like really, oof, Grand Soir by MFK, y'all. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. I cannot, like, I don't want to blind buy niche fragrances. I've done it, and that's not a chance that I keep, I want to take. It could go wrong. I would rather do samples first and Twisted Lily provides that option for me. And then they give you, I don't know what I did with it, but they give you, here it is. Sorry if I'm all over the place, y'all, but they send this card with the samples. And if you choose to buy a sample within 14 days, a, not a sample, a full size bottle, you get 15% off with this code on the back. This is not sponsored. I'm beauty on a budget. I've said this before. Beauty on a budget and niche fragrances are not cheap. I don't care if you buy them on a discount or not. They're not cheap. So wanted to share to come up if you guys didn't know about it. 15%. So if I like one of these, I will be using this card. So let's get into the first one, which is, I'm going to go with this one first, Dirty Ginger. And I wanted this because it has ginger in it. And I believe this is more of a summertime fragrance, if I'm not mistaken. Some of the notes are black pepper, lime and cumin, ginger, tea, and vetiver. And I'll put the notes up for you guys. Twisted Lily gives you these like testers if you want to test it. And if you love it, you don't like it, or you're not sure, you can like put a little check mark. So let's try the dirty ginger it smells like dirty ginger i don't know how else to describe it it's very earthy i smell tea i smell ginger it's really spicy like this is hella spicy y'all like really spicy and it's fresh it's very fresh it's not blowing my mind but it smells good. I would definitely have to play around with this. This is why I like niche fragrances though, y'all, because they don't smell like anything you smell a lot of times. And this is very different for me. This is something that I would have to test on my skin and really play around with. The more it's drying down though, the more I like it. I like this spicy cumin ginger tea thing going on here like I really like it and it's really earthy too like I think I can vibe with this I can see myself wearing this I really can actually I like it if y'all have this please comment down below and tell me if you have it and if you like it I have not heard anybody in the fragrance community community talk about this but actually I think I could ride with this, but I have to play around with this a little bit more. So, so far, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, this next one, Creation E, I'm gonna try this. I'm like super excited. 
if you watch fragrance videos, you know this, you might have it already. Um, but I don't have any Roja Dove fragrances and they are expensive and it's not something that I would want to blind buy. So let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I almost said something. Ooh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, thank you, Lord, for setting a guard over my mouth and keeping watch over the doors of my lips. Jesus. Oh, Y'all, this smells good. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, I can see what all the hype is about. Lord, I have to get this. Like, there's no guessing. I think I can vibe with this. Oh no, I. this is, I need this. Where have you been? This smells good. Oh my Lord. I'm going to put the notes up for you guys, but some of them are, is bergamot, geranium. It has rose and jasmine and heliotrope, ginger, cognac, tobacco. Oh my God. I love how this smells. This is wonderful. Oh my good Lord. I can see all the hype. And I think the person I see talk about this the most was is simply Aisha. And she featured this in one of her videos. And I'm like, you know what? I need to try that. This is beautiful. Oh, my Lord. Let me move on before I just keep like one more time for the homies who's not here. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So good. Y'all, it's like, it's 9.42 at night. So whatever sense I have, is it's not here, just so you know. It's late. I haven't even had my dinner yet, but um, it's ready. I'll be eating when I'm done. Okay, this next one, y'all. Ooh, Lyra by Zerzhoff. And I've heard a few... YouTubers talk about this. I think the one that's been raving about this the most is um, Alithia Marie. She's been loving, loving, loving this. So I really wanted to get my hands on this and try it. And let's see. I don't own any Zerzhoff, Zerzhoff fragrances. See, I can't even talk, y'all. This is, this is how late it is. I can't talk. Um, but I don't actually, that's not true. I do own a Zerja fragrance. It's coming. And when it gets here, you guys are going to know what it is. Cause I'm going to tell you it's not a blind buy though. So I'll just say that y'all that creation E though, man, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's move on to Lyra. Let's move on and see if Lyra takes my breath away. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I feel it. I smell caramel. I smell caramel, y'all. I smell caramel. And if you don't know anything about me, I love gourmand and I love to smell like a whole snack. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. And I smell the carameliciousness. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Why did I buy these samples? Oh, this smells so good. It smells as good as everyone says it smells. It all, it smells lemony. And I remember her saying she don't get lemon cookie vibes. I get lemon cookie. You know what? This reminds me of, oh my gosh. Is it Zara? I have this fragrance by Zara and it smells like a whole lemon cookie. I'm going to put a picture up for you guys. It smells good. This smells like that, but better. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh my good Lord. It smells good. This has some blood orange in it, some lavender, some cinnamon, some licorice, some caramel, some vanilla. 
I'll put all the notes up for you guys, but oh man, you can get your whole life with this perfume, like your whole fragrance life, brother. This, I can't wait to, oh my good Lord. You know what excites me is to get some samples in the mail and you just smell them and it's like, yes, I, I know. This is this feels like a success. This is a whole success right now. So far, I'm like loving everything. The Dirty Ginger, I liked it and I know I have to play around with it, but I, I can see myself wearing it. But the Creation E and the Lyra so far, guys, winners. Absolutely. Winners, winners, winners. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. So we got that and now we're going to go to, this one is Golden Dahlia, you guys. And I'm like super excited. I'm super excited about this. Y'all this, as Ice Cube says, today was a good day. This is like a good day, you know what I mean? Good day. Let's smell this, let's smell this. Um, I tore up the doggone thing. But I have my own testers too, somewhere on my bed. If you can't tell, I'm sitting up in my room. The brandy, yeah, I went there. Just, it's late. I told y'all it's late. Just, just ignore that. Just ignore it. And let's get on to this Dahlia. And I wanted this because I'm looking for like some coffee fragrances. I'm wanting to expand my coffee collection of fragrances and I'm hoping even though I heard this doesn't have a lot of coffee like the coffee note isn't dominant I still wanted to try it this is okay I smell that's no rum I smell something like almost dirty but smoky what are the notes in here this is interesting this this is an interesting one it almost smells like a, okay so just just indulge me for a minute i grew up around former smokers my mom used to smoke she quit smoking when i got pregnant with my first daughter but you know how you light a cigarette and then you put it out in the ashtray, that's kind of, I'm picking that up here, like a kind of tobacco thing. Like it reminds me of a sweet ashtray. I, that's like, it's crazy. Let me see what the notes are. Cause I wrote them down, but I don't remember. Oh, incense matches okay because I was thinking matches too but like sweet matches okay coffee incense exotic spices tonka bean cacao I get that incense so strong y'all like oh wow this is different it's different and I kind of like that incense smoky ashtray thing don't judge me because it's not like incense to me it's not incense when it's burning it's like incense after you put it out if that makes sense how it smells or like a match after you put it out something after you put it out like the after effects of it but it's also sweet from the um hazelnut cacao type thing I gotta play around with this. Ooh, I started to smell amber, y'all. I gotta play around with this, but this is interesting. I kinda like this, but I'm not sure. So this is like the dirty ginger. Like I could see myself rocking with this, but it's not like a fave, like the Creation E and the Lyra. Like those, yeah, baby, those. Okay, now this is the one that I've been like so curious to see. I know you guys watch fragrance videos and you've been seeing fall videos. I've done one. So many YouTubers have done fall videos of fragrances they can't wait to wear. 
And I don't know if I've seen a fall video without somebody mentioning Grand Soir. And it, it was to the point where I really wanted to try this. I did, but I didn't want to blind buy it. Um, I really wanted to test it out first. So we are going to spray this on my hands. I'm not going to even spray this on a card. I want to spray it on my hands. So this is the one I've been like really excited about. I don't own it but i really wanted to try it obviously i don't own it girl it's it's late that's why you have a sample because you don't own it get it together oh wow i smell that i i get it i get it i get what people are are getting okay okay i smell that amber and the vanilla it smells very warm, like warm, like heat from a fireplace type of warm. That amber is really making this smell really warm to me. Okay, I like this. I see you, Grand Soir. I do. But I'm going to be honest with you. I like Lyra and Creation E more than I like this Grand Soir. Like I can see the hype behind it. And it smells more, um, Siri, I was not talking to you. If you guys have an iPhone and you say anything remotely close to Siri or watch, you know it pops up. But um, anyway, I can see it. This smells very unisex though. Like it almost smells more masculine and I can see myself burying my nose in the chest of a man and just like, Oh, you smell so good. That That's kind of like, I would love to smell this on a man. Like, seriously, like, okay, let me come back to earth. Okay, I'm back to the video. I do like this and I think it smells really good. I do feel like this, this could go either way, either way. Feminine, masculine, this could go either way. I like it um I like it a lot but to be honest out of all of these Lyra and Creation E are my favorites those are the favorites I'm gonna be trying it's late I dropped it on the floor I dropped it but anyway it's late y'all please forgive my um, craziness and I'm gonna let you guys know which one I actually used my 15% off to purchase because I am going to give one with my 15% off. So if you have any of these fragrances, please comment down below. Tell me what you think of these because, of course, I don't know anything about longevity, projection, anything like that. But I would love to know your thoughts on how you feel about these fragrances. What do you think? Which one do you think I should get first? Um, I would love to know your opinion. And also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Man, this this uh Grand Soir is it's starting to like oh man, I can smell it as I'm moving my hand. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Stay blessed and safe. Bye.